Hey Audacious Church, hope you are doing great wherever you are today. I really want to encourage you with this Bible verse. It's from Proverbs 18 verse 21 which says this. It says the tongue has the power of life and death and those who love it will eat its fruit. I really want to challenge our declaration today and our perspective. I wonder what it is that's being declared over your life or that you've maybe declared over your own life that's become the fabric of your DNA. Things like, it's not achievable for me. It's not attainable for me. It's good for them, but it will never happen to me. And I want to encourage each and every one of us today to change that declaration over our lives. Your life doesn't have to be the way that it is right now. Things can change in God's kingdom and in God's economy. Your life isn't the sum of your lineage, isn't the sum of where you've been, where you've come from. Your life can shift and change if only you'll change your perspective and your declaration. The Bible says the tongue has the power of both life and death. And I want to inspire you today to speak life over your world, over your family, over your workplace, over your business, over your friends, over everything, speaking positivity, encouragement, faith and life. The words of death sound like this, they're negative, they're pessimistic, they're downcast and they focus, laser focused on impossibility rather than the God of the possible in the impossible. They sound like this, oh, the glass is half empty instead of the glass being half full. Now you might say, well, either way, if the glass is half full or the glass is half empty, it doesn't change the substance of what's in the cup. And that's true, but it does change how you'll drink and receive from the cup because one declaration, the glass being half full, has faith that there's more on it on the way, there's more to come. And the other declaration, the glass being half empty, says that it's running out. And today, church, God's promises, God's blessing, God's favour, God's opportunity has not, is not, and will not run out in your life. Some of you might think today that the opportunity has ran out for you or you've missed the boat or you've missed the right time. Well, let me tell you this. My Bible says that favour is for God's people. Favour is on its way. Opportunities here. Breakthrough is coming through. If only we'll believe and have a mustard seed of faith and change our declaration and speak those things to pass. Speak them into existence. What happens is this, is if all I do is think thoughts of negativity and impossibility, I'll then verbalise that in my world and they go from being a thought to a reality in my world and then my ears will pick up and hear what I've said and will reinforce those thoughts in my world. Oh, I can't do it. I'm not able to do it. I don't have the resource. God won't do it. And suddenly the direction of my life will head in one way only because I'll have laid the bricks to the path that heads in a life that winds downwards rather, like the Bible says, in a life that winds upwards for the righteous and for the wise. Today, church, I do not have a clue what's going on in your world, but what I know is this, is God is with you, God is for you, and God is trying to get your attention today to change your mindset, your outlook, and your declaration. His favour, his opportunity, and his blessing is not running out for you. He's asking you today, will you trust him, and will you begin to speak out life in your world and watch what happens in the direction of your life and in your world when you start to speak out faith. Let faith be your answer to the whispers of the enemy today. Let faith be your response when people make declarations and confessions over your life and your world that you know isn't true. Let faith be your response to what the bank balance says. Let faith be your response to what your employer has spoken over your job. Let faith today, church, be your response and speak life over your world. Hey, be encouraged today, church, that God is with you, God is for you. He's doing great things on our behalf. And I encourage you, I implore you today to change your declaration from that of one of death to that of one of life. There's power in your tongue today. So be found on the other side of this day 
and this week speaking life, speaking faith, speaking hope, opportunity, breakthrough, miracles over your world and let's line up with the Bible. Church, hope you've been blessed. Have a brilliant day and a brilliant rest of your week.